Greetings YouTube. This will be the fourth installment of the laser surgery vlog series. Um, today was the, the third day of appointments that I had at the Laser Spine Institute in Tampa, Florida. And today was the big day. This is the day of the actual surgery. Um, so what happened is um, last night, I could not eat anything after midnight last night, not even a sip of water. Um, I took a shower last night. They gave me this, uh, some sort of a sterile wipe to wipe the back of my neck with, the location of where the surgery was going to be. And so they told me to take a shower and then um, about one hour after the shower, uh, my care partner, my wife, um, scrubbed my neck with um, with a sterile wipe thing, kind of like a baby wipe on steroids. Not literally. But um, then they tell you to take another shower in the morning before you come uh, to your appointment. And... Um, and then you don't wipe it down then then that you're not you know you don't put any on any deodorant or anything like that uh, nothing on your body you just get out of the shower and dry off and put your clothes on and go so we arrived at the facility at 5:45 this morning which was my appointment um, and as it turns out I was the first uh, surgery of the day so they um, when you get there you know there's a group of us in the waiting room in the surgery area that were scheduled for surgery that day and they took back uh, like two of us at a time and they put you in a room and they give you like a hospital robe and a hairnet and uh, some slippers that you got to put on and take off your clothes and put them in a bag and um, then you come out and, uh, and the uh, nurse, there's a nurse there. Again, the people are very accommodating, very nice, very warm and caring and nurturing type of people. I haven't, you know, there was nobody there that was rude or short. Um, they answer your questions uh, really good. Um, and as, as far as that goes, it was a really good experience. And I really have nothing negative to say about the facility at this point uh, um, you know as far as the treatment by the staff they're extremely thorough um, they do they ask you the same questions over and over and over again um, so many times that I like uh, would forget the answers to them but uh, I'm sure it, it can be a little bit annoying but it's not really their fault it, it's just kind of the nature of the territory of, you know, the nature of the beast, so to speak. The reason why they do it is because they want to give every opportunity to, to do the right procedure on me. So it's, it's for my own benefit that they do it, and I understand that. But all the same, it does get monotonous. And they ask you about your medical history over and over and over again whether you've had any surgeries, whether you're diabetic, whether you have blood clots, and da 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 And it goes on and on and on and on. Um, so then I put on that uh, hospital gown and uh, hair net, and it wasn't really all that cool. I, I don't really recommend that um, other than if it's necessary. And then the nurse came out and uh, talked to me about a whole bunch of stuff and put these... Uh, stocking pantyhose stocking things on my on the bottom half of my legs they go up to about my knees and those are to keep the blood circulation going and I'm supposed to wear them and for about 24 hours then the um, surgeon came the surgeon that was that actually did the surgery came and talked to me and he busted out his iPhone and on his iPhone he had um all the uh, MRI images of my neck and he showed me he pinpointed exactly what he was going to do and how he was going to do it and he really he really took a lot of time and explained that and I appreciated it it, it really uh, said if you're nervous or scared um, and I sure was um, 
you know, they do everything they can possibly do to um, to ease, to, to, to bring calmness and to ease the, the fear. Um, and, there, and I still was pretty nervous about it. But, um, you know, I don't think that there's anything else they could have done other than what they did um, to, to make it a more um, calm experience. I mean, I, I mean, just it, it was nervous to me just the fact knowing that some dude that I didn't even know was going to cut my neck open. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that on their part that they could have did to try to change that. But they, I mean, they, they really worked hard with me and, and, and really tried to, um, to, uh, to ease my nerves as best as they could. And they did a pretty good job of it. Other facilities I've been involved with in, with medical care. Um, I did not have that same luxury. And sometimes I felt like they didn't really care about me. And uh, they didn't really care about me getting better. And I, I really did not get that impression from this facility. I, I felt like they'd really done everything they can do to. Uh... Okay, I'm babbling. So they start an IV, and I don't know what the heck is in it. Um, at that time, there is some, I think there's some pain medication in it. And, and they told me, but it, I didn't understand it. It was some kind of medical babble. Um, and again, you know, things move pretty fast. There's not really a lot of waiting around. So then the, um, the, uh, the people, the other people come in, the anesthesiologists come over, two of them. One guy was working on me. Um, and another guy was explaining to me that they're going to put this plastic tube down my throat to help me breathe. It's not an intubation tube for those of you that are familiar with that. That is not... It's not the same thing. Um, it's strictly uh, as I and I, I never did see the thing. They told me they were going to do it, and they told me that it would give me a sore throat, which it did, and I still do have a sore throat, and I can taste like some sort of medicine-y chemical stuff in my throat that it's been there pretty much all day since I got out of surgery, and uh, I don't know when that'll go away, but it's kind of still there right now. Um, so he talked to me about that and it has to do with keeping my air passages open or something like that. And, um, so he talked to me about that and then they, uh, you walk into the surgery room and it's pretty scary looking, intimidating kind of place. They stopped at the bathroom and tell you to use the bathroom one last time. They, um, you go into the operating room and it's very clean, very white and very Star Trek looking ish. There's a lot of uh, space age looking machinery in there, and um, and it's but then the the worst thing about it is it, it was cold in there. I mean, very 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 cold in there. I and then uh, you lay down face down, obviously, because they're working. In my, in my case, they were working on the back of my neck, and uh, I presume most everybody you know lays face down. And the bed's got, got a hole in it so you can see the floor. And then um, they kind of start the uh, whatever chemical it is that puts you out. And I could hear people talking. They, they done some. Uh, they stopped and, you know, they want to make sure that they're working on the right thing. And so the surgeon actually takes a marker and marks on the back of your neck his initials. And what's the procedure that he's doing? And uh, an, an abbreviation of it. Um, and then they they go, they go through that again. They they really um, re, they're really redundant with that with and which we're glad they are because you would not want them to work on the wrong part of your body. That would be obviously a problem. <laughs> And I remember looking at the floor and I remember hearing, you know, a few more things. And next thing you know, from my perspective, I was waking up in the recovery room. I remember absolutely nothing about going to sleep. I don't remember like getting drowsy or anything like that. I remember nothing about the anesthesia. Um, I don't remember getting dizzy or anything like that. And I thought I might because I've heard people talk about that before. But the next thing I remember, I was waking up 
in and, and I was now no longer in the operating room. I was in the recovery room and a guy was a few people it was loud and people were talking to me and they kept saying, Rod, Rod, wake up, are you there? Are you awake? Are you awake? How do you feel? How do you feel? And uh, they're feeding me um, anything you want. You can have drinks, or I think I think maybe they even offer you some snacks. I can't remember, but I didn't want that. Um, I got some apple juice and some coffee. The coffee was really, really good. And um, so they pretty much lavish you with that kind of stuff. They uh, they have uh, it's cold in there too, but they have you in a blanket and they have like some sort of a little heater blower thing like inside of your blanket and so it keeps you really warm and then they have these air air pillow things under your uh, knees and you can feel them inflating and deflating and it's it's pretty chaotic in there not in a negative way but in a uh, I shouldn't have said chaotic I would say very busy in there it's it's uh, the room you go into and the room you know, before the surgery, the pre-op room and the post-op room is very, very, very busy. A lot of activity going on in there. And um, so it wasn't too long, and they let me move to another chair. They got me out of that bed, and I think I walked over to another chair, and they put this, this neck brace on me. Um, they took my IV out, um, and that's where my wife was, my, my care partner. And, uh, and then I was able to see her. I went to the bathroom and, uh, changed my clothes, put my clothes back on, took off that hospital robe and, uh, the hairnet and all that stuff. And, um, my wife helped me get my clothes back on. And then we sat there a while longer and had to wait for the anesthesiologist. And he was very busy, but it, really the wait really wasn't all that bad. If you're used to medical facilities and hospitals, I would say the, the waiting is minimal compared to most other facilities. Uh, um, if you go to a conventional, normal, traditional hospital, the waiting is hours and hours for every, and that's just not the case here so I would say that that's a positive I don't really have anything negative to say um, about the laser spine Institute uh, so far um, how do I feel and this is the the important part um, at this point I'm calling the surgery a success Woo! Um, because the wound the actual surgical area is sore it, it appears, you know, and keep in mind, I'm still somewhat sedated and, and, you know, there's bandages and et cetera, et cetera, that, um, I mean, I'm not ready to go run a marathon, but it does feel like there's a tremendous amount of pressure off of the nerves. The, and the, I had the compressed nerves, pinched nerves, it does feel like there's a whole lot less pressure than what there has been. Um, so I'm kind of cautious about saying 100% that it's a win, but it does seem, I, I, I'm calling it a success at this point. Um, at this point in time, it, it does seem like I'm remarkably better than what I was. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. Um, tomorrow I'll, I'll continue to, uh, to see is this, uh, and you know, right now there is pain right now and I'm not really sure, you know, I, I, I think it seems like it's, it's more pain from the surgery itself than it does than it is from the pinched nerve. Um, that was there before. I still do have a bulging disc in my lower back um, that was not treated. They do not treat two different areas at the same time at, on the same surgery. And I don't really think anybody does, um, but definitely not in an outpatient surgery setting. Um, so I'm calling it a win at this point. I'm calling it a success. Um, Right now, I'm feeling good about it that I came. Um, 
and at as uh, right now, I, I'm saying that I, I would recommend it um, uh, to to most people. Now that you know, there are people that have not had that great of an experience, and, and I understand that. Uh, and I read it, and you can read about them online. Um, at this point, I'm saying that uh, my experience has been positive um, thus far. So. Um, Thank you very much. I have a whole series uh, about this uh, procedure. If you're interested, um, you can look it up and online and, and uh, on my YouTube channel. And uh, if you're not subscribed, um, if you want to subscribe, and then you'll know when when I put put any more videos about this subject up. Uh, and I know there will be a few more to come. And um, if you hit the like button, that, that kind of helps out the channel. Um, if you feel so inclined, um, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask, ask me questions about it. And I'll, uh, and I'll answer to the, best of, of, uh, to the best of my ability based on just, just one experience that I've had. Keep, keep in mind, there's thousands of experiences and mine is just one. So uh, keep that in mind. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching.